Welcome back to more of the World of Magic, everybody saw last time. I did an extensive detailed walkthrough of the Woody Woody Forest, sorry, Woody Wordy Forest and Woody Weedy Forest in terms of bosses. Now in this episode, I'm actually going to be talking about the Mushroom Marshland bosses slash mini bosses. So if you actually come over here to this corner, the very top right corner of the world, you will see a bunch of white spiders. This is actually the place where they spawn the most. White spiders, also they're one of the shittier mini bosses in the game. They're not useless. Why? Because they have two main drops that are worth a decent amount, aside from scrolls, of course, which basically any boss mini boss can drop. Um, spider Silk is not actually one of the things I was talking about, although if you do save up enough, then that's pretty nice, you know? Um, but the two main drops are Ice Prison Volume 2 and Carry Volume 3. Ice Prison Volume 2 can also be obtained from the uh, poisonous spiders, not the normal swamp spiders, but the poisonous spiders. Whereas, Parry 3 is actually unique to the white spiders in this game. So, with that being said, those books are worth a couple thousand, you know? Although it's not a lot, obviously, compared to basically anything else in the game. It's at least something, especially early to mid-game. It's something, you know? So, that's kind of why I recommend, you know, if you are going to be grinding for things in general, if you're in the Mushroom Marshland, make sure to take some time to, like, fight some white spiders, you know? Because it's... I mean, not a bad thing. I'm not going to say to really go out of your way to fight them, but if they're in your way, if you run through them, kill it. Don't just leave it alone. Kill it. You might as, you might as well, you know? Anyway, for the uh, next area, not the next area, what the hell am I talking about? The next monster, the Fungus King. I'll be kind of mixing in both White Spiders and Fungus King here. This area right here, about 3,000 to 2,300, that's actually one of the spawn points of the Fungus King around this area. As you can see, he's actually not here. So it's time to move on to the next location. Now, there are essentially four... Yeah, there's four main locations in which the Fungus King can spawn from what I have seen, from what I've known. Two of the locations are extremely close to each other, which are actually down here somewhere, if I can find them. But the other two locations are a little bit further. Now, the one that I actually just showed around is one of the further ones, whereas the other two can actually be found... Ugh, I want to say it's around here. Because I have a sheet in my computer, but it is actually around here. Basically, I always kind of going like all the way over here. Just to kind of make sure and see if, you know, he is going to be there, but I don't see him. And then the other one's a little further west from here, which I believe are kind of already walked through. So I've already looked at basically three out of the four locations, once I'm going a little more to the west right now. Because this place actually ends up taking you to right over here, where the beach actually goes to, as you can see. Now, if you keep going along this pathway with these swamp spiders, and eventually go up alongside the pathway... Okay, there's somebody killing enemies here, which I'm assuming, because yeah, I see a green powder there. I'm assuming that somebody has already been hunting down the Fungus King. If you walk alongside this pathway up north, you will eventually get taken to the Fungus King, if he is actually here. Um, I don't really know if... Nope, I mean, look at this. Somebody's farming. It would be around here. You would walk north like that, and yeah, it would be right there. So, the Fungus King has a number of really important drops. Uh, it can drop a Sparkling Necklace. It can drop Ensnare 2. It can drop the, what the hell is it called, the strange hat thing. Um, it has a lot of really useful things, and Snare 2 being probably its most valuable one. Sparkling Necklace, not so much. I mean, it's a couple hundred thousand actually at the most, which is pretty good. And Snare that can be sold for, oh my god, in some servers it's like, what, two million? Kind of depends. It is really that rare of a drop. And then, other things, uh, Mystic Stones, it can drop that, but I mean, that's not unique, you know? Because normal enemies in the beach can actually drop that. Now, it's for spawn time. Oh, look, here's another white spider. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Let me go ahead and kill it. Ooh. Oh, wait, that's nothing. Enough space? What? Okay, I guess I'll throw this away or drink it. Sure. I can't believe I already run out of space. That's ridiculous. It's all these stupid rings, man. Here, I'm gonna throw that away just in case. If I need more space for something. Okay. Now, what I'm actually gonna do is I might actually end up pairing these things together. For example, in the first one I did Woody Woody Forest, Woody Weedy Forest. 
which makes sense. Um, for this next one though, I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, combine it with a mushroom spore. So, sorry if I sound distant, again I'm actually focusing on, okay there we go. The, the last thing I will say for the Fungus King is that it actually has an 18 minute respawn time, which is a little more than Bulldozer and Bulldozer's brother, but honestly it's not that much. It really is not. Okay, let's go ahead and do the second one of this video, and that is going to be the Mushroom Spore. Now, the Mushroom Spore has White Bats and the Poison Fungus King. The White Bats have only 5 minute respawn times, which is honestly extremely low. Like, extremely low. You can just basically be here and farm them all day if you want to get some freaking Cloak of Health or something, you know, by exchanging the Phantom's kneecap. But... You could also just avoid them, because again, just like White Spiders, they're the least useful mini-bosses, not Kenny Bulls or Junior, because that's honestly the shittiest mini-boss in the game. Now, if you actually go along this way, over here to the west, you get taken to a place that usually has a white bat, right here, as you can see. Like I was saying, with white bats, okay, how the hell did you miss, seriously? Now, enemies in here have a lot of HP, despite them being low levels, look how little damage I'm doing. Enemies in the Mushrooms 4K just, in general, have extremely high HP. Because this place has been free to go as a party, to kind of like just get used to and accustomed to the uh, the whole party mechanic of the game, you know? And there we go. So it drops some gold. Now, if you keep going down here, there's pretty much nothing else. That's just a dead end. But now, um, to continue along this pathway, you simply go up north. Now, when you go up north here, there's a chance you could encounter some more white bats. Uh, there's up to three white bats at a time here in the Mushroom Spore. Generally, I see all three of them at the same time. You know, it's not like somebody's just going to kill one. Now, here there's a fort. If you go down south, I believe there's no white bats, but it, there's a potential one of two locations in which the Poison Fungus King can actually spawn. So, if, if I come down here, he, he could be right there, but he's actually not, as you can see. However... If you go up north, that takes you to another location with white bats. Let's see, there's actually some more here. Let's take a look. There's one, but before I kill him, let me actually take a look to see if there's a poison fungus king. And he is actually here. You've got to be kidding me. Oh my god, talk, talk about luck. Poison fungus kings have a respawn time of 48 minutes, which is actually a lot more than both the fungus king and the bulldozer... Bulldozer Jr. slash Bulldozer's brother. I need to kill this stupid thing and fast. Hurry up before some freaking... Okay, I already did more than half HP. That's fine. It was like before some freaking pro kill steals it, you know? I can't believe he's here though. Wow. Let's see if I get something. And I got... Uh, that's not really anything useful, to be honest. Okay, I'm, I have so much shit here. Throw that shit away. No, don't get that. Dude, throw up... Mushroom spores are garbage. Get that. There we go. Mystic Stone. Okay, perfect. Well, nothing really that great. I did get a box. Here it is. And I got... Ooh! I'll take that. That's a, a couple thousand at least. That's pretty good. I mean, hey. That's nice for a mini-boss. What did you drop, White? Ooh! Look at that! A book! Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, seriously though. I'm... I need to buy more bags. I, I need to buy so many more bags. This is ridiculous. I have no space left. I'll just throw this meat away. What did I get? Freezing Trap 2. Okay, I mean, that's cool. I mean, it can be bought, but it's still, I can sell it to a secret merchant for a, I'm assuming like, what, 1500-ish, maybe? Not bad, not bad at all. Anyway, I didn't talk about the, oh no, wait, I did talk about it, never mind. Uh, but in terms of drops, I mean, are you serious? I just got another Phantom's kneecap. Holy crap, I just got really lucky here at the last second. Damage pamphlets, garbage, okay. Give me that. So I got a Phantom's Kneecap, Freezing Trap, and an Armory Chan D through the box, and a Mystic Stone from all that. That's not bad. Okay, but here's what I'm saying to all of you, especially early in the game. Because people would make an argument and say, no, white bats are not worth killing like white spiders. Look at what just happened to me from killing two out of th three white bats. Like, did you see that? I just got a Freezing Trap Volume 2, which again, 
it's not worth a lot, but hey, early in the game, that's pretty good, you know? A freezing trap too, and I also got a phantom's kneecap, which is essentially exchanged for a cloak, you know? Again, that's, that's solid. That's solid money early in the game, which is why I make the argument and say they're not, they're not useless. Just like the uh, white spiders, you know, they're just not useless. Now, I'm glad that I got to show off the uh, Poison Fungus King. I would actually like to show off the Fungus King if I could, although it's really difficult to do that, you know? To show that off. Oh god, I... whoops, sorry about that. Let me also go ahead and run up north a little bit here to maybe take a look to see if more white spiders spawned. Because white spiders also have a really short respawn time. I believe it is also five minutes. Which is extremely short, as you already know. Oh, look, an ice cube. I will take that. Alright, let's see what this one's got. Oh my god. Oh my god, I just got the drop. Okay, throw away. God damn it, I have to throw away something. Honestly, heavy leather. That's worth the least in terms of money. I got parry three. I just got parry three. Another couple thousand. See what I'm saying? Like, look at this. From just farming all these really shitty mini-bosses that no pros care about, I just made some money. I'm gonna sell this stuff to secret merchants and to black traders depending on what the item is. And I just made some money. Seriously. So this is my guide for all of you. You know, when people tell me, how do you make money early in the game? This is how you make money early in the game. You kill mini-bosses. You kill bosses. You kill what you can. Even if you don't always get as lucky as what just happened to me in this video, you kill what you can. You can kill even Bulldozer Juniors, even the freaking boars that drop the weapons that are 250. Bulldozer Juniors drop cane rings 150 each, you know? It's pretty good money, as I keep saying. So I'll, I'm, yeah, I'm glad I'll, I'll take all of that. I just need to start selling these things in the Black Trader and Secret Merchants, and yeah, I'll be good. I believe that actually is it, at least for now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a cut though because I want to sell my stuff. One quick sec. So as of now, nobody has actually parry on this server. I parry three so I can't really compare the price. In Calico, usually things are worth less, so I'll probably take a look to see how much I can sell it for. I might just put it off screen or something, but we'll see. If you sell it to a secret merchant, it's worth 1500 Honestly, that's too little. You can easily make a lot more money by putting it over here. I mean, I've seen it sell for like... I think the other server, like what, I put 8,000 and it sold or something, I'm pretty sure, but we'll see. Okay, now that I'm here, let me go ahead and exchange the uh, two phantoms kneecap that I have for the Cloak of Health, which I believe is, is it up here? Why do I always forget this? Wait, where the hell is it? Um, it might be down here then, hold on. Yeah, here it is, okay, the Lost Phantom. Simply talk to the lost phantom, and you get, okay, just do what's wrong, next, why don't I help you? Found your kneecap. And then... Oh god, I can't talk to you. Freaking... Stupid... Here, die. Stupid spiders. Too bad I, took, I still killed them too slow. Like, really, I do. There we go. What the hell is that? Oh, I thought that was something... You dropped nothing except the potion? All three of you combined? Oh my god. What's wrong? Wait. Where's, where's the thing? Oh, here it is. The old hat. Yeah, I was actually getting... I didn't mention this, but... um, I, I know that I was mentioning earlier. They're like, oh, um, if you actually exchange this, you get a Cloak of Health. No, no, the bats can drop the Cloak of Health as well as the Phantom's kneecap, is what I meant to say. But you exchange the Phantom's kneecap for the old hat. Um... Thing is, can you only do it once? I didn't know that. I don't know. That's interesting. Maybe you can only do the quest once per day, possibly. But now I have another one, and then this one armor, one intelligence, old hat. If you equip it, that's how you look. Uh, honestly, I don't like how these hats look. I think that's really stupid on how they look. You could, of course, hide it. Either way, though, I don't think the one armor for me is worth it. I'd rather just sell the hat, to be honest. I would just do that instead. Because you're going to get a Dong Relief at a level 18 anyway, at least most people, so... I can live with one more level without a hat, to be honest. I'm fine. 
Okay, now what I'm gonna do is do one more trip around to potentially see if I could find the Fungus King or not. We'll see. Okay, so I just went through all the locations once again and I did not find the Fungus King, so he's being just heavily farmed at the moment because um, I should have been able to at least find one, but there's other pros walking around. And again, he only responds every 18 minutes, so it's not that long in terms of time. But yeah, that's it. I hopefully I was you know I was hoping to show off the fungus skin, but at least I talked about the locations, the respawn time, and the drops. But that's essentially it. That is how you farm the mushroom marshland, take the paths that I walked, you know the spawn points by now. So yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next one, which will be the island with the lighthouse and the Wingfro Island Beach boss strategy. I don't even know what I'm gonna name them to be honest. I have no idea. But yeah. Alright, so, if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like, I'd appreciate it very much, thank you, and as always, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye everyone, have a great and a fantastic day.